that 90% of people got this math problem wrong and only 10% got it right? If you want to know the reason why, be with me from this video from the beginning up to the end. It was a simple math problem that a lot of people failed. Let's see. We have 3 divided by 1, close the bracket, add to 3, multiply by 2, divide by 2. Choice A, 9. Choice B, 6. Choice C, 1. There were two methods that are used. We have method 1 and method 2. And both of those methods we shall share at how different people arrive at the answer. So the first method that were used was method 1. So this one was method 1 that was used. And the question was 3 uh, into bracket 3 divide by 1. Close the bracket. Add to 3. Multiply by 2. Divide by 2. So there was what is the answer? So the method 1 here, this one is was how it was done. Like it was this way. Uh, it was 3 multiplied by 2, which was 6. Then from there, 6 divided by, divide by 2. Then you add 2 into bracket 3 divide by, 3 divide by 1. So from there, we had this method whereby we say that this one is equals to uh, 6 divided by 2 and 3 divided by 1. So 3 divided by 1 is 3. Then from there, uh, 3, then into bracket still. Then here we add 2, 6 divided by 2, and that is 3. Now, so from there, uh, this one was how it was, the bracket was opened by simply taking 3 multiply by 9, by 3 multiply by 3, and there the answer was, was 9. That's the first method. Now, if you can see this first method, I think there was an error that was committed somewhere. The first thing that this person was supposed to do was to, was to work out the bracket first. But with him, he went ahead and worked out the, the division first, not considering the bracket, and got the answers as 9. So not only him that got the answer as 9, but uh, a number of people got it as, as 9. So we can say that f uh, based on the method that was used, we can rule this 9 as not the correct answer. Because now when we see from the choices, this 9. So we can uh, agree that the answer might not be, might not be 9. Okay, so let's now move to method 2. So method 2 this one was method two now so allow me to copy the question so it was three divided by one then you close the bracket there okay add to two add to sorry add to three multiply by two divide by two so what was the answer now under method two we are going to look at the solution and uh, considering the solution, we are going to talk about what is called the, the Bodmas. We are going to use the, the Bodmas rule. So I shall tell you what Bodmas stands for. So like B stands for the bracket. So you have to work out the bracket first. So this one is equals to 3 divided by 1 is 3. Then because the bracket starts. So add to this 3 multiply by 2, then divide by, by 2. Then the next turn, we don't have of, so now we move to the division sign. So we have this division, where we say now, so we have to work out this one now. So we have 3, so we have to indicate that 3, add to 3, multiply by 2, divide by 2, is 1. So the next method that we have is, is multiplication. So we have to multiply this number now, whereby now we say this number shall now be equals to uh, 3, sorry, so we shall have this 3 because we are working the division, the multiplication. 3 multiplied by 1 is, is 3. So now our, our final answer becomes 3 add to 3 and our answer is, is 6. So based on the answer that had been got, 
you see that there's uh, the bond mass has been used like there's a smooth order of operations that have been undertaken this method too that's why we say that six is the correct answer it is different from this one method the method number one that was used whereby uh, we say that the answer was was nine so now when we come to our choices now uh, but choice b picks the correct answer the answer is is six